Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dan Kearney, and welcome back to the Overwatch Legal Roundup. Wing Conditions, the Atlanta Rain Edition. So, a lot of the ones previously have been recorded before, quite in advance. Um, but now, we now actually know that we're going to get Triple Two. We're going to get DPS in the Stage 4, and it's pretty pog, huh? But, this makes it interesting, and now we're getting into the teams that really have to fight for their place in the playoffs, or the play-ins, I should say, for a chance to get to the playoffs. It is do or die for a lot of these teams in Stage 4. So, today we'll look at the Atlanta Reign. They are currently occupying that sweet 11th spot, just below the Dallas Fuel, and just in those play-in spots, after a very good Atlanta homestand and a decent Stage 3. So, Atlanta, there is a lot to build off for this team in Stage 4. They have... You know, they don't have the most difficult schedule out of the teams that are down there. They don't have the the most easiest of schedules either. But it's definitely a schedule that the Atlanta Rain can work with and can get decent results out of. So, that being said, their first game of the stage in week one is the Hangzhou Spark. Now, I don't expect Atlanta Rain to win this one. They could pull off an upset. Because honestly, I think the DPS of the Atlanta Rain are better on DPS than they are on Zarya Brigitte. So they could cause an upset. They could be one of these teams that really pop off in a DPS meta or a triple two meta. So again, it's like I've been saying this a few times. We don't know what we're going to get. We don't know whether we're going to get Dive. We don't know whether we're going to get Bunker. Uh, some crazy Diva Hammond comp. Some D uh, Hammond Winston comp. We just don't know. Uh, it's up to the teams to show us when the actual stage four kicks off. So it's very hard to predict what these teams are going to do. But, going on what we know, I would expect Hangzhou Spark to get past the Atlanta Rain. But that is not the end of the world for the Atlanta Rain. Because then you go into week two. Week two is doable for the Atlanta Rain big time. First up is the Paris Eternal. Then they have the Houston Outlaws. So, Houston Outlaws, they are a team I expect to be better in, in a DPS meta. Just purely on Linkser and Jake. They're going to be better in a DPS meta, that's for sure. Same for Paris. Remember, Paris was soon in that. So, yes, we'd expect these lower teams to perhaps do better in a DPS triple two meta, but Atlanta Reign could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these teams. If Atlanta Reign want to make those play-ins, they have to beat both Paris and Houston, in my opinion. That's a must. So, there's no beating around the bush there. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for the Atlanta Reign. Stage two... Uh, stage 4, week 2, needs to be 2-0 and if you're looking at a good start to the stage. Into week 3, they won't play. Into week 4, they have the Washington Justice and the London Spitfire. So, that's really a flip of a, a, flip of a coin in terms of difficulty there, difficulty there, isn't it? I would expect Learn to Rain to get past the Washington Justice. The Washington Justice should be a bit better in triple 2, but they should not be to the level that the Atlanta Rain can pull off, so... I would expect Atlanta Rain to do fairly well against the Washington Justice. Don't you just wish you had DeFran right now? Um, but London Spitfire... London Spitfire that file one of the kings of DPS last season. So I'd expect them to push on, as I said previously in their roundup. So I think that's a tough matchup for the Atlanta Rain. Two losses on the board at this stage, though, is not bad when you're in Week 4. Going into Week 5, we had the Kit Kat rivalry weekend. This is a weekend where Atlanta Reigns, it's so doable to go 2-0. It's the Dallas Fuel and the Boston Uprising. That is so doable for the Atlanta Reign. It's un unbelievably doable. Like, I can't express how much that has to be a 2-0. It's more, it's more possible than it is with the week they have to play Paris and Houston, in my opinion. The Dallas don't look comfortable. The Dallas? The Dallas? The Fuel don't look comfortable. And... Um, the synergy's not there for the fuel right now. Boston are on the rope slightly, I would say. We've seen uh, cracks forming in the Boston Uprising in Stage 3. And that frustration, I'm talking about fusions and that, might get to them in Stage 4. And by the time we're at Week 5, two of these teams, if not all of them, could already be out of it. So we don't know what these teams are going to line up like. But... It, this is doable for the Atlanta Rain big time. Big, 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 big. And I think 
going on the current look and what the Atlanta Reigns showed us in their homestand weekend, if they can provide that sort of form throughout stage four, I think we will see Atlanta Reign in the play-ins. Whether they could win the play-ins is a different thing altogether, and that's for another video nearer the time. But I think this is extremely doable, doable for the Atlanta Reign. Where do I think they could finish? Well, honestly, they could get 10th. It's not beyond the realms of possibility. Dallas Fuel, uh, Atlanta Reign have the best map differential out of all of the teams around them. The only team that are even close to them are the, are the Valiant, and they haven't got the easiest of stages. So, this is doable for the Atlanta Reign. Big, big, big time. And if they can just grind out the results, I think we can see Atlanta Reign uh, in 10th or so. And that will see them through to the play-ins at the end of Stage 4. Going beyond that, I really don't know, because you're going to have some tough opponents at the top of that play-in bracket. But, this has been your roundup, or win conditions, for the Atlanta Reign. Next up will be the Chengdu Hunters. That'll be an interesting one. Obviously, we are into the lower half of the league now. Guangzhou Charge will be up after that. There are some interesting ones coming up. Guangzhou Charge will be an interesting one. Chengdu, Valiant, Houston. They'll be interesting ones, because... They're either teams on the up or teams that could really, really favour the meta that's coming in right now. So, interesting ones coming up. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next video. See you then.